Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from executeautomation.com and in this part we'll be talking about working with mouse hovers. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 2 and 4 since this part is going to be a continuation of those two parts. Alright, so let's get started. Selenium versus Kwaipu. So while working with hovers, we use a class called actions class which is available in selenium.support package and it's a separate package available in NuGet which you need to download and add a reference for that into your project. Whereas in Kwaipu, nothing really needed, just Kwaipu is enough to perform those operations because behind the scenes, Kwaipu is actually calling the selenium.support. And for performing a hover operation, the code is this. We use actions class, we create a reference for the action class and then we pass the driver object and with using the object of the action we then call a method called move to element and then we pass the element where we have to move our mouse and then we call the perform method which performs the operation of mouse hovering. Whereas in Kwaipu it is pretty simple. Just call the browser session dot find elements dot hover. That will do things for you. And within the find element, you need to pass the element where you need to hover the mouse. And similarly, to perform a hover and click, you have to do these operations. Actions dot move to element and the element dot click the element and then call a build method because there are two methods involved to perform two different operations. So you need to call the build method to perform those operations. So build and then perform method. So these are the operations that you need to do to perform a mouse hover and click operation. Whereas in Kwaipu it is pretty simple. Just call the same browser session dot find element dot hover and call the click method which do a clicking of the operation. So to make this theory more sense I'm gonna flip to Visual Studio and show you how it works. So this is the same project which we were working in our previous videos and for working with the mouse hover what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this operation. Once I log into my website exitautomation.com slash demo site slash index.html and then if I log in here you will see that there is a menu bar in our web page. It is this automation tools and if you hover there it will bring you the selenium menu and within the selenium menu hovering it will bring you the selenium web driver, selenium rc, selenium ide. So if you click any one of the link it will just show you a dummy page saying this is the selenium web driver. So just to prove the point that we could able to perform the mouse hover operation, right? So this is pretty much uh, fine for at least performing the operation and see how it works. So what I'm going to do, I need to first hover to the automation tools menu and then I need to hover the selenium menu and then to click any one of these controls, we need to perform the click operation. So this is what we need to do. So let's quickly write the code and see how we can achieve this. So for that I'm going to make use of some of the existing codes. So at least I have to log into the site first. So I'm going to copy these codes and I need to change the name here. Maybe we can change this to mouse hover. And then once we log in we need to hover to the automation tools menu. So for hovering as I already said there is a hover method. But to hover into one of the controls we need to first of all identify what is its ID or name or text or whatever it is. Well, the ID of this particular control is actually automation tools. And as you can see here, the ID is automation tools. So I'm going to call this same ID here. So browser, there is something called find ID. This method will actually find an element with the ID which I'm going to specify. So the ID is automation tools and once I find this control I need to hover into that particular ID. So this is the method hover which does the operation for us. This is going to hover for me in the automation tools menu. So once I hover there I need to then hover to the selenium menu right. So what is the ID for the selenium menu? It is selenium. Okay so pretty simple browser by ID right so find ID and then selenium and I need to hover once again right so I can hover to the automation tools and the selenium but I need to also click the 
Selenium RC menu maybe. So for that browser dot find ID and here I'm gonna pass selenium rc dot hover and then as I said once we do the hover we also need to perform a click operation so that I can see if I land into the page so I'm gonna call the click method that's simple it is right it's pretty much like a fluent API where you get all the methods whichever you require as much easy as possible and once the clicking operation is done you will land into the page and let's quickly run and see how it works so I'm gonna build this project great right? and then I'm gonna run the test mouse over all right and as you can see it also hover to the automation tool selenium and it clicked the selenium RC link or the menu and it landed into the selenium RC page and now the last thing which we can do is we need to verify whether we really landed into this RC page or not so for that I'm going to use the assert dot that of there is a method which will actually do this thing for us which is nothing but browser dot has content so this has content method will actually verify or query if the particular text we are looking for is available or not you can just pass in a query there and see if it is actually returning us the text which we are expecting so here we're expecting what selenium rc which is available there or not and then we can also tell and i need to verify the substring of it this is nothing but i'm going to give an option here like options dot substring so it's going to verify if the particular selenium rc substring is available there or not because in our page if we land in we have selenium rc and maybe if there is something else in the text we can just verify whether just selenium rc is available in the page or not we don't have to verify everything which is available so i want to save this and then if i quickly run this test all right it opened the browser that's it so test got passed and as you can see I get no error meaning the has content method is actually returning us true and that's the reason the assert dot that method did not failed so this is how you can verify the hovering operation or perform the hovering operation using Kwaipu thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day